and get stepped on by big people. It is not nice. Uh, there are some big people here too. Big people here? Hello. <coughs> big people. Don't worry, it's only our friend Lucy. She's a big girl. Lucy, these are aliens. They're here on holiday. <laughs> Hello, aliens. You are big, aren't you? Are there more like you? There's my mum and dad. We're having a picnic over there. So, there are three big people on this planet. Oh, no. There's loads. Millions and millions. Most of them bigger than me. Hmm. Perhaps it is time for end of holiday. OK. Let's go and see if your flying saucer is mended. Ah, just in time. I've mended the flying saucer. Well done, wise old elf. All those tubes and things made it a bit like plumbing. And elves are good at plumbing. Thank you. I will now start the engine. Oh, that's not right. It sounds like a fairy car on a cold day, Daddy. Yes, it does. A bit of magic always helps start the fairy car. No, you must never mix magic and plumbing. Oh, nonsense. Sounds good. Thanks to me being an excellent plumber. Thanks to my magic fairy dust, you mean. Now, now, let's say Elf Skill mended the engine and fairy magic got it started. Hooray! Lucy! That's my dad. I'd better go. Mum, Dad, you'll never guess what I just saw. Don't tell me. Elves and fairies again. Yes, and aliens too. <laughs> aliens. Oh, aliens. Of course, Lucy. We must leave now. Ben, Holly, would you like a little ride before we go? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> that will make these seats more comfortable. Stop it, Nanny. You could make tasty cakes. I'm warning you. Or get some new clothes. If you change one more thing, a bit of makeup. I'm sorry I had to freeze Nanny Plum. She was very rude to me. I don't think Nanny meant to be rude, Mrs Witch. Maybe not, but she was. Are you going to keep Nanny frozen forever? No. If Nanny says sorry, she can go. Nanny, say sorry to Mrs Witch. I will not say sorry. I was only trying to help you out, you grumpy old witch. Oh. So, you won't let Nanny go? Nope. We should get help. Uh, is it all right if we go, Mrs Witch? Of course. You have both been delightful company. What's your plan? We have to get the king. Yes. Daddy can tell the witch off. Then she'll let Nanny go. Bye-bye. Uh, bye. Thank you very much for having us. Yes, thank you, Mrs Witch. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Quick, run. Mrs Witch really angry. And now Nanny's frozen like a statue. Oh, dear. Daddy, if we don't do something, then Nanny will stay frozen forever. Hmm. We'll never see Nanny again. How sad. And there'll be no more lovely dinners. Time for the cake. Keep still. Pretend to be toys. Happy birthday, Lucy. <laughs> now, Lucy, blow out the candles. It might get a bit spitty when she blows the candles out. Don't tell her to blow them all out in one go. Remember to blow them all out in one go. <gasps> <sighs> 
Don't forget to make a wish. I want a pink unicorn. Strawberry? No. Pink unicorn. Da. Wow, a pink unicorn. <laughs> My wish came true. That's amazing. Uh, right, everyone. Home time. <laughs> Don't forget your party bags. Hello, Yasmin. Did you have a nice time? Yes, Lucy's dad did magic. He's awesome. What are you looking like that for? All right, out you come. All of you. <sighs> I thought I made it clear there were to be no real elves and fairies at the party. But as soon as my back is turned, you invite every elf and fairy in the world. <gasps> Where's Jake? He's missing. He must have fallen into a party bag. <sighs> All right, don't panic. Just wait here. Ooh, what's this? Yum! I love cake! Oh, I think Lucy lost one of her toys. Ah, there it is. Thanks, Lucy's dad. Your magic show was great. Yes, everyone said so. Oh, did they? This was my best party ever. I'm glad you had fun, Lucy. And no one really saw your, your little friends. So I suppose everything turned out all right. <laughs> Back to normal, eh? Yes, except for the unicorn. Oh, yes, the, the unicorn. I forgot about that. Don't worry, Dad. We can just keep it in the barn with the cows. <laughs> Lucy, pick you up later. Bye, Dad! Oh, no. A mermaid's mirror must never be seen by big people. Don't worry. I'm sure Lucy won't show it to anyone. Look, everybody. I found a mirror. Ooh. Ooh. Lovely. That's perfect for our show and tell. Come up to the front, Lucy, and show the mirror to the whole class. Ah. My poor mirror. I'll never get it back because I can't walk on land. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll get your mirror back. Oh, thank you. Home time, children. Hi, Dad. Hi, Lucy. Good day. Lucy. Psst, Lucy. Ben, Holly, what are you doing here? We've come for the mirror. It belongs to a mermaid. A mermaid? Wow. Yes, and she needs her mirror back. Oh, OK. Please tell me this is just a game. Elves and fairies are one thing, but mermaids? Haven't you read about mermaids in books? Yes, but I've also read about dragons and witches, and they're not real either. Yes, yes they, they are. are. We can show you witches and dragons. And loads more if you like. No, no, thanks. I'll take your word for it. So, where is this mermaid? After you left, she got called back home to the bottom of the lake. She'll be having her dinner. Fish, probably. We have to find Oceana and give her mirror back. Right then, into the submarine. Lucy, would you like to come too? Yes, please. Um, we'd love to join you, but I think we are just a tad too big to fit in your little submarine and... Ah! What's happening to me? Just shrinking you down. <laughs> My turn. Um, will we stay little forever? Oh, no. The spell will wear off in a bit and you'll grow big again. All aboard! <laughs> This one's called Chrysanthemum Locanthemum. How did you know that? It's on the label. Oh, how odd. This statue's labelled too. And this one. This plant's got a price on it. $4.99. That's good. Something very strange is going on here. Yes, some madman has gone through the jungle labelling everything. It's raining! It's not rain! It's a big person with a watering can! This isn't the jungle! This is a garden centre! Gaston's brought us to the wrong place! Poor Redbeard is hundreds of miles away in the real jungle! Ugh, and we're stuck in a garden centre! 
Hello. Hello? Are you nearly here? Uh, we're a bit far from the jungle. Oh, yes. Whereabouts? Right now, we're in a garden centre, in a pot of daffodils. Daffodils? Oh, yes! I can see you. What? I'm inside. Look through the doors. Hello! I thought you said you'd gone to the jungle. It is a jungle in here. Come and see. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, well, I suppose we'd better rescue him anyway. Carefully now. We must not be spotted by the big people. Why won't the magic door open? It's not a magic door. You just stand in front of it and it opens. But we're too small for the door to notice us. Time for a bit of magic. Now that's what I call a magic door. Ha-ha! Am I pleased to see you, me hearties? Don't you, me hearty me? Do you realise how much of our time you've wasted? Uh... Don't stand too close, Ben. Ah! Help! Uh, what did Nanny say? Oh, yes. Beat your wings. But I'm an elf. I don't have wings. OK, um, flap your arms. Uh... Hello. <gasps> You're meant to be asleep. You're not supposed to see us. Who are you? Uh, I'm Holly. I'm a fairy princess. A real fairy princess with wings and a wand and everything. <laughs> yes. And this is Ben. He's an elf. <laughs> Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Oh, I wrote you a letter. Thank you. Oh, it's so little. It's a terrible signal. Wise old elf? Nanny Plum, don't you know what time it is? I didn't call to ask you the time. We're in a big house and the window's closed. I need some elves to rescue us. I see. How many elves do you need? All of them. We came in through the window, but now it's shut. There, it's open. Thanks, Lucy. It was nice meeting you, Lucy, but we weren't supposed to wake you. It's OK. I'll pretend to be asleep. Bye-bye. <laughs> hmm. I see you woke the little girl up. We didn't mean to, Nanny. Oh, it's OK. They always wake up. Elves to the rescue! Elves to the rescue! Now, where's this window that needs opening? You just came through it. But that's an open window. Yes, we've done it ourselves. We don't need you anymore. Sorry. Sorry? You've just dragged every elf in the kingdom from their beds. Shush! Can you be quiet? Of course I can. Elves are very good at being quiet. And we're, we're elves! elves. No! This is why elves can't be tooth fairies. You're... Right, let's make sure we're not around when that happens. Wow, look at all those frogs. And what's this? Sorry about this, but I'm going to have to turn you all into frogs. Just for a bit. Eh? Frog time! <laughs> Nanny, why are there still bangs going on in the other room? Well, it was going to happen at some point anyway, so I thought I'd save a bit of time and just turn the whole lot of them into frogs. All the big people in the museum? You've turned them all into frogs? That's right. I knew you'd be pleased. Oh, what happened? Where am I? It's the museum man. He's turned back to himself again. Yes, and he's confused and a little bit annoyed. Ah! Oh, no! Ah! All the Vikings are turning back, too! Wait, I think this is as good a time as any to leave. Let's get out of here! Ah! Hold up, hold! Keep together, children! Back on the bus! Next stop, the Little Kingdom! Last stop! Everybody off! Oh! 
All in all, that didn't go too badly. We survived and the museum wasn't destroyed. <laughs> Good girl! You see? All you have to do is trust the little darlings and they will repay your trust. She's really in a world of her own. She never learns. And next time, I thought we could visit a... Next time? Yes, we'll visit a big castle. You know, I've always wanted to live in the times of knights in armor. Abracadabra! Yeah! <laughs> <sighs> Let's bring her back. Abracadabra. On second thoughts, I never want to live in the time of knights in armor. I think the safest, nicest time is right here and now. <laughs> dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. How can we hide the treasure with all the dwarves around? I know. I'm good at voices. This is the dwarf boss. Come on, lads. Let's go, go, go. That's brilliant. Now watch this. All right, boys. Tea break. Tea break. OK, okay boss. boss. <laughs> well done, Nanny Plum. No probs. Right, let's hide this treasure. Quickly now. Dwarves never stop digging for long. Here they come. Gold! I found gold! There we go. Diamonds! There's diamonds here! Have we found treasure? Yes! Lots of it! Well done, lads. Keep digging. Eh? What do you mean, keep digging? In case there's more treasure, of course. We always dig twice as hard when we find treasure. Oh, no! What are you doing here anyway? This is the dwarf-only area. We put the treasure there for you to find. What? We thought you'd stop digging. We thought you'd be happy. Why? How thoughtful of you. And we thought you'd stop making that racket. Well, I suppose all the noise could be a bit upsetting. Yes, yes it is. And that's why we apologise in advance. Come on, lads, let's get digging. But, but... Ugh, all this digging has made me quite tired. Oh, me too, boss. Oh, oh. I think they're going to sleep. Yes, they've tired themselves out. Night, night, boss. Night, night, lads. Good. Now they'll sleep for years. They'll sleep and sleep and sleep. Yes, me faithful parrot. <laughs> this is Polly. Peace of the night. She alone was my companion as we sailed through the endless waters. Peace of the night! The conversation must have been riveting. Peace of the night! Uh, were you an evil, nasty, bad pirate? Well, no. The thing is, it's quite hard to be a pirate when you're as small as an elf. All the other boats are so big. <coughs> oh. So you didn't do any piracy things at all? Of course I did! What would any self-respecting pirate be without treasure? Ooh! <laughs> and here's me treasure map. Wow! Now then, somewhere on this map is the hidden treasure. It's a map of the Little Kingdom. Aye, but that's just the start, Miss Shipmates. There'll be a big search with lots of clues. There's no need for a big search and a lot of old fuss. I can magic you some treasure right here. Abracadabra. No, that's cheating. Yes, that's true, Nanny Plum. It's not as exciting. All right. Just trying to save a bit of time. Hmm. There's an X in the meadow. Is that where the treasure is? There's only one way to find out. To the meadow! Wait! We may need a spade. Pirate treasure is often buried in the ground. Ooh! <laughs> it's 
Carrots, Fleur and Strawberry. Hello, everyone. Hello, me hearties. I'm Redbeard, the elf pirate. And this is me friend Polly. Peace of the night. Ooh. We're looking for hidden treasure. What? Where is the Queen? Uh, on her way to the North Pole. Somehow she shrank down inside the castle. I see. I'll just have to sort this mess out myself then. Let's give Father Christmas a ring. Ah, good. A phone. Ah! Put me down. Ah! Get me out of this cracker. Still one more box of crackers? Let's get them loaded. Taking a long time. I'm the king! <laughs> oh! Another box of crackers! It's funny, we never see who delivers them. Ah! Oh, trapped in a cracker! <sighs> oh well, at least I can phone for help. Ah, oh, yes, it's not a phone. It's a lump of plastic. Get me out of this cracker! Trees! Last delivery of Christmas trees! Wow, that's a big Christmas tree. Stacked up in a garden centre. How embarrassing. Ah, the North Pole. I need to get ready for my Christmas deliveries. One last toy to be wrapped. I'm not a toy. I'm Queen Thistle. Ah! Ow! Let me out! I'm the Queen. King Thistle trapped in a cracker. The wise old elf stuck in a Christmas tree. Queen Thistle wrapped up as a present. What will happen next? Join us again as our Christmas adventure continues. Who is this enormous sleeping bag for? Ben Elf. He's a giant person now. Oh, they grow up so fast these days. Ben, grab hold of this and pull! A giant sleeping bag. It's great. Thanks, everyone. Our pleasure. Elves are good at making giant sleeping bags. And, and we're, we're elves. elves. Ah! Ah! Maybe don't toot your horn when you're so big. Now sleep well. Good night. Good night. It is fun being big. I can't wait till morning. Princess Holly, time to get up. Oh, where are you? I'm here. The spell must have worn off and now I'm little again. Oh, never mind, Holly. Big is overrated in my opinion. I'm going to see if Ben has shrunk too. Ben, where are you? I'm here. The spell wore off in the night. Oh. Now we're little again. Well, at least you'll be able to have breakfast. Yes, breakfast. breakfast. Thanks, Mum. Mmm, I didn't realise how hungry I was. I do like being small. Me too. <laughs> ben, Holly. That's Lucy. Do you want to play? Morning, Lucy. Oh, you're tiny again. Yes, we are. We decided we like being little after all. Actually, I think I like you being little too. You're just the right size for an elf and a fairy. And you're just the right size for a big person. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I'm tired. Me too. And me. <sighs> Is it midnight yet? No. <sighs> midnight is still hours away. But I'm so sleepy. <sighs> <sighs> We've got to stay up until midnight or it's not a real midnight feast. 
<gasps> My goodness! Rex, what are you doing here? It's morning! You could grow big again any second! Whoa. Out! Out! Quickly! You're starting to grow! Ah! Out you go! Just in time! That could have been disastrous! <sighs> What's all the noise about? You woke us up. Holly, where's Lucy? Shh, she's still asleep. What? Well, wake her up and get her out of the castle, quickly, before she gets big. Oh, yes, we forgot. Lucy, Lucy, wake up. What's happening? You're growing. Whoa, let's get out of here. Too late. Gosh, what a funny way to wake up. Lucy, are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. Morning, all. Is Lucy around? Uh, yes. I just wanted to say sorry. Big people aren't all about smashing our houses and stepping on us. Ow! With luck, we won't meet any big people. But if we do, please keep calm. No panicking. Wise old elf, is that one of the big people? Eh? Ah! Big people! Ah! Ooh, a little toy bus. Ah! Please put us down. Oh! It's OK. It's Lucy. She's just a little girl. She's a very big little girl. She's ginormous. Hello. Hi, Lucy. Ooh, more little fairies. I'll have you know I'm not a fairy. I'm an elf. Have you got wings? Can you fly? Elves do not fly. Can you do magic spells? Elves don't do magic. Oh, so what can you do? Elves do, um, lots of things. And we're elves! <laughs> and we're fairies! Wands away, please, fairies. A farm is no place for magic. <laughs> As you can see, Lucy, this is a rather bossy elf. <laughs> Lucy, we want to see where the milk comes from. We want to see cows. Can you show us, please? Yes. Follow me. These are the chickens. Yes, we know. And we know what chickens give us, don't we, children? Eggs. Yes, Jake. Hello, chickens. Some fairies and elves have come to see you. Of course, chickens are quite stupid creatures because they are so big. But I'm big and I'm not stupid. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, sorry, Lucy. These are the sheep. Ah, yes. And who can tell me what sheep give us? Eggs! So, you know all about the elves and fairies? Yes. I used to play with them when I was little. Sally! Now I remember you. It was years ago. Yes. There was you and Naughty Prince Thistle. King Thistle now. Nanny Plum, we must never talk to big grown-ups. Oh, hello, wise old elf. Nice to see you again. Oh, hello, Sally. Did you know the wise old elf when he was very young? No. He's always been old. And wise. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Ooh, thank you. So it's the little kingdom where Dad's putting the cows. Yes! yes! Then we must stop him. Come on, everyone. Stop, stop. What? We have to find somewhere else to put the cows. Oh, uh, why? Because, um, because the grass here is a bit... Um, dry and, uh... And the ground is, uh... 
too muddy. There must be a better place to put the cows. No, this is the perfect place. The plan's not working. Uh, who said that? Now what do we do? Is it frog time? No, Nanny. What? Frog time. Ah, don't let the farmer know we're here. OK, Clever Clogs, what's your plan then? Um, hello? We'll be with you in a moment. Now, Nanny Plum, as I was saying... Um, who are you all? Hello, Mr Farmer. We're elves and fairies. And we live here, in the meadow. Elves and fairies living in the meadow? Yes! So, we can't put the cows here, darling. Well, of course not. I don't want to knock anyone's house down. Hooray! And one more thing, Dad. You must not tell any of your friends that you've seen elves and fairies. Mm, don't worry. There is no way that I will tell any of my friends that I've been seeing elves and fairies. Thank you, Dad. Hello. He's tiny. Yes. On planet Bong, we get smaller as we get older. Hello. Who said that? <laughs> He's down there, Daddy. Oh, hello. Hello. Say hello, everybody. The great leader is very old. It is a fantastic honour for you to meet him. Say hello, Gaston. Hello. <gasps> Gaston's eaten the great leader. Uh. Naughty Gaston. Spit the great leader out. <coughs> <coughs> Terribly sorry. He's not really house trained. Uh, yes. <laughs> As our special guests, we will now welcome you with a song. What a horrible noise! When are they going to start playing the tune? This is our national anthem. And delightful it is, too. Cyrus, why do you live underground? Once, Planet Bong was covered in plants. Everywhere was green and beautiful, and the people were happy. Then the plants began to die out. It became too hot to live on the surface, so we moved underground. Everyone lives underground? Yes, even the animals. Animals? <coughs> Whoa! Oh, an alien monster! Don't worry, it is just a flobber gurgle quad. Plug. It is a pet. <laughs> oh, the flubber gurgle thwats blog is so cute. <laughs> Mummy, can we take the flubber gurgle thwats blog back home with us, please? I think it is much happier living here, darling. Oh. Um, when do we go to the beach? Now, we will take the lift. Lovely big beach. That's the sound of big people. Quick, get out of the bin. Huh? What was that? I said, get out of the bin. It's not a bin. It's the great elf tower. Just get out of there, you silly old elf. Excuse me. <laughs> Ooh, a little fairy. Uh, hello. <laughs> Ooh, and a smelly little fairy. I am not a smelly little fairy. I'm a smelly little elf. <laughs> it's that little girl we met at the farm. Yes, it's Lucy. Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. We're having a picnic. Look, Gaston, it's Rex. <laughs> he likes you because you're smelly. Charmed, I'm sure. Ooh, you've brought all your friends from Fairyland. This isn't Fairyland. It's the Little Kingdom. Load the elf trucks. Right ho! Lift ho, lift ho, lift, 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 lift. Catch ho, catch, catch ho, catch, 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 catch. But why 
Why do you want all this stuff? We use it to make toys. Wow, I love toys. But what do you do with all the smelly stuff? It makes lovely compost for the elf farm. Back to the elf tree! Let's get these down to the elf factory without delay. Wow! Look at that tree. There are little windows in it. I wonder... Ooh! That's Gaston's house. There's Gaston. The crystal ball is showing us what Gaston did yesterday. And then we can work out where he is. Very clever, Nanny. Not just a pretty face, eh? Where's he going? That's me, feeding Gaston yesterday. Good morning, Gaston. Here's your breakfast. <laughs> Hungry boy. Where would you be without me to feed you? Now where's he going? He's at the fairy village. Morning, Gaston. That's my mum. Here's your breakfast. <laughs> He's had two breakfasts. I thought it was just me who fed him. Bye, Gaston. <coughs> He's off again. He's at the great elf tree. And that's the wise old elf. Ah, Gaston, I haven't forgotten you. Here's your breakfast. <coughs> I don't believe it. That's another breakfast. Oh, Gaston's off again. He can't eat any more breakfasts. Look, he's at the playgroup. And that's Mrs Fotheringill. Here's your porridge, Susan. Susan? Good girl, Susan. By my reckoning, that's four breakfasts. I think Gaston needs lots of food because he does lots of running about. <sighs> Oh, he's fallen asleep. I'm not surprised after all that eating. <laughs> Look, it's us. Yes, we played with Gaston yesterday. Gaston, are you in? <laughs> Do you want to play? <laughs> Here, Gaston, fetch the stick. We know this bit. Can you skip past it? OK, I'll fast forward. Oh, Gaston has vanished. Let's watch. We've made up a song about him. Would you like to hear it? No. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, look, I think he's coming. <gasps> Is he? How do I look? Is my hat on straight? Oh, it's you. I thought you'd gone. Yes. Well, I I just... That is to say I, er... Uh... That's the first time I've seen a gnome lost for words. Would you like to hear a song I've written? <laughs> yes. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, my lady gnome has lots of lovely hair and lots of pretty eyes and ears so fair. <laughs> I like it. I'm Gloria. They're friends now. Gloria, will you be my own lady gnome and live with me forever in the little kingdom? Yes, I will. Come, my dear. I'll show you your new house. Here we are. This is where we'll be living. Ooh! Whose idea was it to get them together? Nanny Plum, Your Majesty. No, it wasn't. It was your idea. Well, you made the breakfast tree. You told me to. Stop! Stop! What are we going to do about it? We can have a big wedding. Hello again. I'm afraid we have some bad news. What is it now? We've had a look at the elf tree and Gloria feels it's a bit tiny. I'm sorry we didn't design our elf tree for gnomes to live in. Nice of you to apologise, but it's still too small. And your castle isn't really to our taste. It's too old-fashioned. Old-fashioned? And drafty. So I'm afraid 
We'll have to find somewhere else. Oh, well, goodbye. It's a shame we won't see you ever again. Oh, don't worry. We'll be back for our holidays. See you next spring. Don't stand too close, Ben. Ah! Help! Uh, what did Nanny say? Oh, yes. Beat your wings. But I'm an elf. I don't have wings. OK, um, flap your arms. Uh... Hello. <gasps> You're meant to be asleep. You're not supposed to see us. Who are you? Uh, I'm Holly. I'm a fairy princess. A real fairy princess with wings and a wand and everything. <laughs> yes. And this is Ben. He's an elf. <laughs> Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Oh, I wrote you a letter. Thank you. Oh, it's so little. It's a terrible signal. Wise old elf? Nanny Plum, don't you know what time it is? I didn't call to ask you the time. We're in a big house and the window's closed. I need some elves to rescue us. I see. How many elves do you need? All of them. We came in through the window, but now it's shut. There, it's open. Thanks, Lucy. It was nice meeting you, Lucy, but we weren't supposed to wake you. It's OK. I'll pretend to be asleep. Bye-bye. <laughs> hmm. I see you woke the little girl up. We didn't mean to, Nanny. Oh, it's OK. They always wake up. Elves to the rescue! Elves to the rescue! Now, where's this window that needs opening? You just came through it. But that's an open window. Yes, we've done it ourselves. We don't need you anymore. Sorry. Sorry? You've just dragged every elf in the kingdom from their beds. Shush! Can you be quiet? Of course I can. Elves are very good at being quiet. And we're, we're elves! No! <laughs> This is why elves can't be tooth fairies. You're for me. Daddy, Daddy, big people are coming. Big people? Quick, close the shutters. Good. Now we're completely hidden. Hidden? But what about the castle? Perhaps they won't notice it. Won't notice it. Won't notice it. A little fairy castle with a flag on top. I know. I'll just magic the castle invisible. Brilliant, Nanny. Invisible, invisible, castle disappear. Invisible, invisible, castle disappear. A castle. This field is a perfect place for insects to live. I think I just saw a castle. Then it went invisible. Oh, what fantastic imaginations you children have. Oof. What? There does seem to be something here. I can feel a tower with a flag on top. Uh, Miss Cookie, maybe there are some insects over here. Uh, oh, oh yes, insects. That's what we're looking for. Miss Cookie, I found an insect. Well, oh, well. Oh. Lovely. Now, does anyone know what this insect is called? Gaston. What? Oh, uh, I mean, a ladybird. Well, oh, well. Oh. All right, children, tick insect on your lists. Insect! And now, on to the lake. I think it's this way. Thank goodness they're moving away from the little castle. But they're going right towards Mrs Witch's house. No time to lose. How can we hide Mrs Witch? She's huge. Maybe she could pretend she's not a witch. Good idea, Ben. Hello? Hello, Mrs Witch. Listen, uh, there's no time to explain, but you have to pretend you're not a witch. OK. Who am I, then? You're just a nice old lady. OK. Here they come. Sent us this flowery letter asking for a feast. Yes. Well, if I just drop in, I find people usually send me away. 
But if I send a letter as King Leopold, I get a bit more of a welcome and a dinner. It works the first time anyway. Can I have this pie? Uh, yes, I suppose so. <laughs> Very nice. I know a fact about pies. Do you want to hear it? No. no. I'll take that as a yes. Pies are never found in the wild. They have to be made by someone. <laughs> <sighs> All that effort and King Leopold oh. turns out to be the gnome. Yes, mm. it's an outrage. <laughs> oh, he's still a king. And you've all been making such a fuss about a very important person coming. Daddy is right. Yes, we should still welcome King Leopold. Especially after all our practice. Let's enjoy ourselves. We've got a party with music and lovely food. Yes, I suppose things haven't worked out too badly. King and Queen Marigold are here. Oh! Oh, no more pies. What's this? It's spaghetti vongolay. OK, I'll give it a go. What will the marigolds say when they see that? <laughs> They'll laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh and... Here we are, darlings. Where is King Leopold? Uh, well, he's there. There? <laughs> he's that gnome king. Look! He doesn't even wear a crown. Oh, I keep it under me hat. How humble he is. How modern. Oh, I feel positively overdressed. Me too. From now on, I'm going to wear a sack. Can we do the song now? Oh, yes. <clears throat> Lucy! Psst, Lucy! Oh, hello, wise old elf. Are you here to rescue Ben and Holly? Yes. Watch an elf ninja at work. Oh, bother! Miss Cookie, there's an elf on a string. Oh, this is an odd-looking doll. Yours as well, Lucy. Uh, yes, Miss Cookie. I'll put this funny-looking goblin in the drawer with the rest of the toys. Funny-looking goblin? Funny goblin? Ah, it's the wise old elf, here to rescue us. Yay! Uh, yes. Hello. I never thought I'd be so glad to see you. What's the rescue plan? Uh. Will you make a hole in the drawer with a special elf rescue drill? Uh, no. Getting locked in the drawer was not part of my plan. It wasn't? No. It's all right. Lucy's teacher will let us out at the end of the lesson. Home time, children. Oh, Lucy, let me give you your toys back. I said it was risky, but oh no, you don't listen. Oh, it's all right. They all think we're toys. Oh. Guys! <gasps> oh, I must have imagined it. Right, um, here are your toys back, Lucy. The pretty fairy, the handsome elf, the fairy godmother and the strange old goblin. Madam, for your information, I am not a goblin. I'm an elf! Oh, well done, wise old elf. So much for not being seen by big people. Now Miss Cookie knows about us. Don't worry, I'll sort it out. Hello, Miss Cookie. You must promise not to tell any of your friends that you've been seeing elves and fairies. Where am I? Hello, Mr Gnome. I've called you here to get rid of some moles. It will be my pleasure. I like trees, they're not like peas. Custard creams or goo. I'll sing my song and strum along with a fold de do de do Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Thank you, Gnome. How much do I owe you? Oh, I'm not finished yet, Your Majesty. If I go now, the mole will come back. What? Then you must stay, as long as it takes. 
Of course, getting rid of moles uses a lot of energy. And my tummy is very empty. Nanny Plum, get this gnome some food. Very well, Your Majesty. A sack of cheese sandwiches with a bucket of tea. I say, you are hungry. I will also need some workers. Absolutely. Wise old elf, I command you to do whatever the gnome says. As you wish. Thank you, Your Majesty. Not at all. Just let me know when you're finished so I can play my golf. Of course, Your Royalness. <clears throat> I am the wise old elf. I look after this royal golf course, and my knowledge of it is second to none. Can you use a shovel? Uh, yes. Good. The first job is to flatten these hills. My name's Ben. And I'm Princess Holly. But you can call me Holly. That's nice. You can call me Mr Gnome. I need a deck chair and a fishing rod. Why do you need a fishing rod? On a golf course. So I can pretend to fish. Thank you for helping tidy my house, Nanny Plum. No problem, Mrs Witch. My goodness, what a lot of cobwebs. Let's magic them away. Oh, me! I don't know what I'd do without you, Nanny. But, Mrs Witch, why can't you just use your own magic to tidy your house? The thing is, I don't do much magic these days. I'm retired. Meow. Still got your mangy old cat, I see. Don't be rude about Moggy. I say cat, but it's just a bag of fleas, really. Leave him alone. I'm warning you. And he's smelly. <gasps> Mrs Witch, you've turned Nanny to stone. So you can do magic. Only if I'm cross. Nanny was being very rude about my cat. Can you turn Nanny back? If she says sorry. Sorry. And say mm. sorry to Moggy. Sorry, Moggy. <laughs> Oof. I forgot she's so touchy about her cat. Hello. Are you Mrs Witch? That's me. I'm Wendy Witch. Hello, Wendy Witch. I'm so excited to be standing here with you. You're famous. Am I? I was brought up on stories of you doing the fastest spells in the West. That was all a long time ago. I'm retired now. And what a lovely witchy house. I can't believe I'll be living here. Uh, what was that? I'll be living in your house. But there's only room in this house for one witch. Yes. Now you're retired, you'll be going to the old witch's home. You'll be very happy there. It's full of other old witches watching telly all day. Uh, you know, when I said I was retired, I meant I'm not retired. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr Christmas. Can I speak to the wise old elf? Yes, yes. I shall get him right away. <laughs> Telephone call for the wise old elf. Please report to reception immediately. Hello, Princess Holly. Hello, wise old elf. It's Father Christmas. Oh, excuse me a moment. Hello? Hello, wise old elf. Will those dolls be ready in time for Christmas? Yes, Mr Christmas. We'll definitely have the dolls ready today. And you will make sure they have a pretty red dress, won't you? Yes, she'll have a lovely red dress. Thank you. Goodbye. Is this the doll you're making for Father Christmas? Yes. We're making hundreds of them, and they have to be ready today. Can we see how you make them? Of course. This way, we'll be taking the train. Ooh. All aboard. First stop, level one. The computer room. Hold tight, everyone. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Whee! 
<laughs> Level one, the computer room. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, it made my tummy all funny. Good, wasn't it? And it'll be even better next time. What do you mean, next time? <laughs> You'll see. Follow me. This is where we decide what the toys will look like. Don't you just make it up as you go along? Oh, no, no, no. The toys are designed to the very last detail. Nothing is left to chance. Gosh, it seems like a lot of hard work to me. We pride ourselves on our thoroughness. 